welcome to another Daisy Pets video. Today is Tuesday the 2nd of October. It's about 1.30 and I'm just working. Sorry about this weird placement of like, set you up so that you are on my candle because I have nowhere else to put you while I chat. And this lighting is terrible, I apologise. So, today I thought I'd answer some questions that I asked that were asked over on my Instagram. I'm going to answer those and then we'll get into some more vlog things. I wonder if I turn you that way, it's better. Not really. Maybe this is not a good place to do that. What about this way? Eh. If I swear. This week I'm going to vlog during the week instead of in the weekend because this weekend we're going to New Plymouth. My mum, me, Diego and Chico are going for a little weekend to get away and just to explore through New Plymouth because I've never been to New Plymouth so you're going to see this on the Monday after we've gone to New Plymouth and then the next week you'll get the New Plymouth vlog because I just want some more time to edit it in case I want to make it cute so today I'm going to answer some questions that I got on my Instagram so the first one is from Kaya the Shepherd and she's just asking why we are called Daisy Pets so my old dog, my first dog, I got her when I was 10 for Christmas, she was called Daisy. And so all my life, not all my life, for multiple years I wanted to start a blog with her but I didn't find myself perfect and she had so many issues and I thought no one would care. So I never started a blog. <coughs> and then when she died I was kind of upset that I'd never started the blog because I realised that it would have been cool to have those memories to look back on and I feel like people would have resonated with some of our issues and so I started the blog once I got my guinea pig and rabbit so Schmutz and Bemo which have both passed away now as well and then Diego obviously came along so that's why it's confusing because people either think my name's da um, Daisy or Diego is Daisy because of the name but it is for my previous dog is like a a memory keepsack. I don't know what the word is. Come here. Come on. What are you doing? He's like sliding around my legs. Like sliding around. So that's why we're called Daisy Pets. It's kind of the memory of her. I never thought that people would take it as my dog's called Daisy until I realised that a lot of dog Instagram accounts are just named after the dog instead of the actual blog. Well, really, not many people blog anymore, so... Yes. The next question is from Maddie, and she's asking when I'm coming down to see her again. I was meant to go in October for, like, a charity thing I was going to do, but with this new job, it hasn't worked out. So... Probably in summer. Me, my mum and my sister and my best friend have all got planned to go down to Marlborough for a weekend in January as a like to go see wine and drink wine and enjoy my time there. So I'm going down south, just not way down. I don't know. I want to make like an actual like a week or two of it instead of just doing heaps of little trips down there. So I don't know. Maybe April, maybe March. I'll have to see when I can get time off work and then just actually come down and go crazy down there. That'll be so much fun. Let's do that. And finally, Lee, my friend, has asked me what's my favourite walk ever. I have to say it is probably... Diego, did that hurt your head? My favourite walk is probably the gorge up past Waihi before Waihi. I love that one. If I've got any footage I'll insert it now. But I love that one just because there's so much to like explore and look at. But I do love all sorts of walks and like new ones just I really excite me because it's exciting to explore a new place. But I think that's my favourite. It's hard to say. There's so many I like. There's also a gorge in Masterton, just past Carterton actually, that I really love as well. So Diego's sick of this combo. Um, yeah, just lots like new fun exploring walks I really like. Hello my friends. 
so today is Wednesday, it's lunch time again. So, yes, I'm holding a piece of frozen meat. So I've realised how boring Diego's life is when I've been at work. So usually I used to go to work like a normal human and now I work from home and he does so much just laying around. He plays for maybe the first hour with his um, long lasting kibble, like his breakfast in a toy. But then after the hour there's a lot of laying around and eight hours is a long time. And yes, he's like adventured outside a couple of times and he's randomly picked up a toy and tried to give it to me. But there's so many hours where he's just sleeping and I feel so bad and like seeing it daily has made me realise how boring it looks. Let me know, if you work from home, have you noticed it? Um, I think it's something you only notice in the weekend, like in the work day when you're not with your dog doing things directly with your dog. I don't know, I haven't noticed it in a weekend before. Anyway, so what I'm going to do at lunchtime is feed him this piece of like bone meat. I don't know what it is. I think they advertise it as like dog meat whatever I don't know but it's frozen but I found Diego's stools are a lot better when he has some sort of bone so I've been feeding cannon bones and I've been hearing bad things about them as I said in my last vlog so he likes these and he likes chicken frames so I'm gonna start feeding them more regularly and I'm actually gonna look at maybe raw feeding I don't know yet but it makes his stool so much better and I kind of just feel like we like better stools harder stools so he's going to eat that while I'm going to do something more exciting. Yes, I'm wearing pyjama pants and oh my fluffy dog. But oh my fluffy... Oh, oh no. I can't do it. I've left the bandana at mum's. I'll get back to you. I realise I'm probably overly glam for this segment, but hey, I'm dressed up to go out. We've, the Canadians that taught us at Shopify, they're heading home, so it's their goodbye dinner. So I'm a bit sad, but I thought I'd better show you our parcel we got from Hook and Whale with Kelpie, Lydia the Kelpie from Instagram. We won a giveaway, so I thought I'd share it. We also got the size down and rain jacket from my, my fluffy dog. So I'll try that on Diego quickly as well. So in the giveaway we got Diego. some Beko bags and like the case as well as a refill pack. So this is amazing. These are going to last us so long and I love sort of like eco-friendly dog bags. We currently use the ones that smell like lavender. I can't remember what they're called but they are not this brand. But this is exciting. That is a heck of a lot. So. Thank you. She gave us some <coughs> meaty treats. I don't really know if I want to hold those. Can you see? So there's a trotter, some, like a pig trotter, some hooves. Hooves? Hoofs. I don't know. And some bully sticks in there. And then we got three of the hook and whale bandanas. And I'm so excited. I've been meaning to buy these, but I don't know if you guys know, but I'm not a huge fan of over-the-collar bandanas. All my collars are kind of like unique and like pretty and have their own look about them. So I don't like putting bandanas over the top of collars because then it like clashes. And I guess my most plain bandana um, collar is the black one from Wolves of Wellington, and even then that's not very plain. So generally I don't like over the collar bandanas but these ones are so cute and I have been wanting them but the reason I haven't purchased is because they're over the collar so maybe they'll make me like them again I don't know so we've first got this print which is adorable this one's quite little actually it looks perfect on Diego this size and it's got the hook and whale um, thing in there oh this one's super cute and then this one, I think this one's my favourite. I love the colours. My favourite colours are actually orange and green. And that's sort of what this vibe's going for. So that is super cute. And then we've got a more nautical theme. 
which is also cute. So I'm going to bring them along with me for our weekend in New Plymouth and we'll see what they, what I think. I just don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I guess you don't really see the collar. I think these are better for like long furred dogs because you don't see the collar when you see the bandana. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are on those bandanas. But I will give them a go and you'll see some photos on my Instagram of Diego trying them. So I just thought I'd show you that and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. So it's just past 5am on the Saturday and I thought I'd show you what I'm packing Diego. And you'll see our new Plymouth vlog next week. So, in my back it's kind of rushed and it's kind of what we've packed last time so there's nothing too special. But I'm going to take the new Beko pod and Diego bandanas from Hook and Whale. Diego, what are you doing? So those are going to come along. We've got our rough wear backpack that we got from Further Faster. I've brought his muzzle in case. I don't think we'll need it, but I'll bring it. A water toy. My treat pouch that I carry his walk ball with. A spear ball in case we lose his walk ball. His toothbrush and toothpaste. Nail clippers. I've got some spear leads harnesses and then a bunch of bandanas from Cottontail store a light up lead and then his snook and then I'm going to add his food and his food bowl into here this is like roughly packed so there's probably way too much for our three-day excursion but it doesn't matter it was already packed I promised you a oh my fluffy dog bandana testing so let's do it so first off, let me describe the material. It is a thick, thick bandana. And like, it's not one of those ones that's going to crinkle if it's like screwed up. Like, really it doesn't actually screw up very nicely. But if it's all screwed up somewhere, it's not going to like crease because it's like a thicker woven like, I don't know what type of material. I'm not good at doing this, but I'd say it's like, more like a, Lead. This oh my MFD that's embroidered here is going to be white embroidered on the ones that are selling at the Auckland Pet Expo and online after. The black was just for the testers. Also the way they've done it up here was terrible. It's a like a very flimsy buckle. However, with the ones that you purchase online and at the Pet Expo, it's going to be a button application. So there was, I think, three buttons that does up, and so it's going to hold it in place a lot better. And it's also like sleek. Here is Ollie. Here is Bendy. <laughs> Ollie is the furriest dog and leaves here everywhere. Let's rub this in. Okay, now I'm just gonna pull some fur off Ollie. Not pull, just whatever comes out. <laughs> and just smush it into the bandana. Okay. Here is. Oh gosh. Here is the, the oh wait, calm down. Here is the fur on the bandana. So it's really smushed in there. We're gonna see if this can come off easily. Just cause obviously if you've got a dog like Ollie, you don't want your bandanas covered in fur constantly. So let's see how easy this is to take off. Enjoy the dogs playing right behind me as well. It actually comes off surprisingly easy. There are little bits of fur that's still connected, but the majority have come off. 
It is actually very easy. I've just used like a combination of my fingernails, scraping it and blowing and sort of just moving it off. But it doesn't hold on to fur as much as my sleeve is. So that's a good first sign. For this test, let's wet the bandana into the dog's water bottle. Obviously owning a dog that likes adventures, you want one that's going to stick up. So let's wet it and find some dirt. Here's a lovely hole that Ollie has dug for us. Wonderful. Let me show you what that now looks like. Fantastic! From here, I'm not sure what my next task is. Let's see if it washes off while wet, and then we'll see if it washes off later when that's been packed in. Look at that! It's like it wasn't even dirty. My hands are. Okay, that is incredible. All right. Let's do the sun baking test. So it's wet. The wet bandana back into the dirt. Obviously this is an extreme measure. Your dog hopefully isn't doing this with it, but he might be. Now I'm gonna put it over in the sun to sort of bake. So we're going to leave it here baking in the sun and we're going to come back once it's sort of dried and see if it's as easy to remove. Oh, the sisters were here and now they're not. Here's Summer. Hi. She was part of the last Oh My Fluffy Dog testing. She's going to assist. It's been like Four hours of that bandana being in the sun, so let's see if it works. She's going to be my film girl. Ooh, Ooh who is she? So we've had it on there for four hours and it's like dried in, as you can see. Let's go wipe it down. Filming? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> we want a nice zoom in on this. What the? Just keep filming. Keep filming. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? So, having a look, it actually looks like it's pretty much all come off. Like that's. Not even stained it. Holy shit, that's actually worked better than I thought it was going to work. <laughs> cool. So obviously with this being white, there's a high chance the embroidery is going to stain if you're doing this kind of stuff. But actually, the material's fine. And it's still in shape, like there's no bad shape on it. So I'm going to dry it crumpled in the sun like this. And we'll see if it goes back to shape afterwards. So it's been in the sun for probably half an hour under this pile of rocks to keep it in a weird position. It's still damp to be fair but there's like no real crinkling or anything like now that it's flattened out it's fine. It sits fine. That would go around his neck. Fine. So I think those tests have worked quite well. Hello Ollie. You want to get your hands on one. They are at the Auckland Pet Expo this weekend, so Saturday, Sunday in Auckland. And I will be on the OMFD booth for all of Sunday. If you aren't in Auckland or can't make it to the expo, all leftover stock is going to be available online once they've um, sorted it all out. So I don't know if that's straight after or if that might be a week or two. But there's also two colorways. So this one's the blue and red version and then there's like a pink. It's the same kind of pattern but it looks a little bit different. So check them out but I definitely recommend 
as the material just sits perfectly they look cute but it's definitely a weatherproof it's definitely more of a weatherproof bandana compared to some of the ones on the market so it means it's going to put up with your dog swimming and getting in the mud and doing all sorts of things over summer more so than the other ones here's the cheek ollie even i was going to call you cheek so that is all for this vlog now I've just been, it is actually Monday now, and I've been to New Plymouth with mum. So that's going to be next Monday's vlog. And then the Monday after that, I'm going to upload my Auckland vlog. So it's all go, because I'm going up to Auckland next weekend. But, so this vlog, then the New Plymouth vlog, then the Auckland vlog. And then I'm staying at home for a weekend. And then the weekend, the last weekend of October, I'm going up to Dad's in Rotorua. I'm going to try and get Diego into a kayak, which is going to be fun. So, yeah, there's lots going on this month, but I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I haven't done a training one this weekend, uh, this week's vlog. I apologise. I'll get on to that for... To be honest, I won't do it in the New Plymouth one and I won't do it in the Auckland one, but there'll be someone coming up. So, thanks for watching. Bye!